Hello, welcome. Uh, in one of the last videos, we looked at this problem here uh, where we take the digits 1 through 9 and try and arrange them into three three digit numbers to get a sum uh, as close to a thousand as possible. And one of the things that you might wonder in this process is if we can get a thousand at all. Right? And that's the question we're going to address in this video. And the question, I'll just write it up here, you know, can we get 1,000. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. You might want to pause it and think about it on your own for a little bit. So the first thing I might look at is all the ways of getting to 1,000. Now there are four ways to get 1,000. Each of them will require us to repeat digits. So let's look at those four ways right now. So if I'm going to do 1,000, if I have a sum of one of 10 excuse me, in the ones column, so let's say I have 3 plus 2 plus 5, that gives me a 10 here, I carry the 1, and now if I have a sum of 9, let's say I have um, 6 plus 2 plus 1, and that's 9, if I add the 1 here, I have 10 again, and that carries. And then I have another sum of 9, let's say 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9 plus 1 is 10, that gives us 1,000. So the first way to get to 1,000, you can see there are lots of repeats here, 2 and 2, and two, and we have right three and three. So I'm repeating digits, but that gets us a thousand. The first way to get to a thousand is with a sum in the first column of ten, then a sum of the uh, tens column of nine, and then the hundreds column of nine again. That's the first way of doing it. But is this actually possible to accomplish without repeating digits? No, it's not. And the reason why. Uh, kind of lies in the combinations that we need in digits to get nines. If we look at the way that we get nines, we realize that we'll have to repeat ourselves. The only three ways to get nine is to add one plus two plus six, or one plus three plus five, or two plus three plus four. That's the only ways to add three digits in a column to get a sum of nine. And if we look at those combinations, you might notice that in this combination here I use digit 1 and I use it here as well so that would be a repeat. In this uh, first combination I use a 2 but here I also use a 2 here as well. And then in the last one, the last combination I'm looking at is 3 and 3. If I'm going to make a sum of 9 I have to repeat myself with these two 3's here. So I'm either going to repeat myself using 1's or 2's or 3's to get two sums of 9. So we can't get that, we can't get to a thousand uh, with that technique, that won't work. So that's out. How else can we get to a thousand? Well, another way to get to a thousand is instead of getting 10 in the first column, maybe we get um, 20, right? So let's say I get 20 in the first column, so like 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 3 is 20. The 2 carries to the hundreds, tens column here, excuse me. And now I want to get a 0 down here. So if I have a sum of 8 in these three boxes, 8 plus 2 is 10, and I'll get that 0. So let's try 5 and 2 and 1. So 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8, plus the 2 that we carried is 10, we get our 0 here, and the 1 carries again. So we have a sum of 20, All right, so this is our next combination, 20, then a sum of 8, and then now we already have a 1 here, so we need a sum of 9 in these three boxes. So maybe I have... 3 plus 4, 7 is plus 2, plus the one that carried gives us 10 and a 1,000. So here, again, we have repeats. So we're repeating ourselves with 2 and 2, with and with 3 and 3. But can we have a sum of 20 and a sum of 8 and a sum of, um, excuse me, 9, right? Can we get that combination without repeating ourselves? And again, the answer is no. Right? If we want to have a sum of, let's just look at the 8 and, and 9. Um, again, oops. the only ways of getting 9 are, we just wrote them, we'll write, write them again, 1 plus 2 plus 6, and 1 plus 3 plus 5, and 2 plus 3 plus 4, right? But the only ways of getting 8, there are only two ways of getting 8. Let's look at them. You have 1 plus 2 plus 5, that's 8, and 1 plus 3 plus 4. So in order to get an 8, I need to use a 1, right? That means this combination and this combination here would repeat the 1's digit. 
So the only combination of 9 I can use with 8 is 2 plus 3 plus 4. But the problem there is that uh, 3 is already used in this combination of 8, so I would be forced to repeat myself. And 2 is used in this combination, the sum to 8. So here, we can't get a sum of 8 without repeating a 2 or a 3. And that means, of course, that the second way of getting a 1,000 also will not work. So what are the two other ways to get to a 1,000? Sorry, the screen is jumping around here. Oh, boy. Um, the two other ways to get to a 1,000 are very similar. Um, here, we can get a 10 in our first column, right? Uh, let's say 2 plus 3 plus 5 very similar to before, and the one carries. Now instead of getting 9, let's get 19. So let's say we have 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 2 is 19. 19 plus the 1 up here will get you 20. And now we need a sum of 8 in these three boxes here. So say 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8, plus the 2 that carried is 10. And we get 1,000. So in this way, right, in this way, to get a thousand, we had a sum of twenty, and then a sum. Oh, sorry, sorry, a sum of ten, then a sum of nineteen, then a sum of eight. Now, is is this possible? Is it possible to get a sum of ten and a sum of eight and a sum of nineteen without repeating yourself? And the answer is no. You have to repeat yourself. And the way I looked at this this one is to look at uh, eights and tens. So here, the problem again, there are only two ways to make eight. One plus two plus five, and one plus three plus four. Now the, and those both require us to use the number one. The problem, of course, is that the only way to make ten that does not use the number one is to use two plus three plus five. Now, the problem here is that the only way we have of making 10 requires us to use the digit 2, which is already used here in 8, and requires us to use the digit 3, which is already used here in 8. So we can't get a sum of 10 and a sum of 8 without repeating at least a 2 or a 3. So if we go back, oops, sorry. If we go back here, that means that that combination doesn't work either. Let me use red. That combination doesn't work. So now we get to our final combination, getting to a thousand, and this also will require us to repeat digits. So we can prove that. Um, so the only way we haven't looked at is if we have a sum of twenty here. Nine plus eight, seventeen plus three is twenty. And now instead of a sum of eight like we had here with these tens, we'll use eighteen. So let's use nine plus eight plus one. That's seventeen plus one is eighteen. Plus two is twenty. And now if you have a sum of 8 here, say 4 and 3 and 1, 8 plus 2 is 10, and we get 1,000. Now we repeated ourselves, right? 1 and 1, and 8 and 8, and 3 and 3, and 9 and 9. So lots of repeats. But the question is, can you get a sum of 20 and 18 and 8 without repeating yourself? And the answer is no. So let's prove that. So we're looking at the combinations 20, 18, and 8. Now this one, um, this was the most difficult for me to prove. Um, but again, it, it, it's based on 8s. So 8 is 1 plus 2 plus 5. That's one combination. Or 1 plus 3 plus 4. There's only two ways to get 8. And they both require us to use a 1. So if we look at that list, it's a little more comprehensive. There's more ways to make 18. There's seven of them, right? We have 9 plus 8 plus 1. That makes 17. And 9 plus 7 plus 2. And 9 plus 6 plus 3. And 9 plus 5 plus 4. And 8 plus 7 plus 3. And 8 plus 6 plus 4. And 7 plus 6 plus 5. Now I also want to make sure to list out all the ways of making 20. I have 9 plus, oops, I don't want to switch colors there. 9 plus 8 plus 3, and 9 plus 7 plus 4, and 9 plus 6 plus 5, and 8 plus 7 plus 5. These each make 20. Now what I was looking at here to figure this out, and you might have a better way, I'd love to hear it, 
I was looking at the only ways you can make 20s and 18s without repeating yourself. So if I use 9, and 8, and 3, for example, the only other thing I can add to it, if I look down my list, I can't use any of the 9s here or any of the 8s. The only thing I can use is 7 and 6 and 5. So I have to add these two. All right, so I get 20 and 18. I have not repeated myself yet. But the problem is, in 20, I have a 3 here. So I can't use this way of making 8. And in 18, I have a 5 here. So I can't use this way of making 8. So there's no way to make 20, 18, and 8 uh, if I use this sum for 20 and this sum for 18. But then there's another sum that I can use. Um, if I use um, 8 and 7 and 5, sorry, if I use 9 and 9 and 6 and 5, okay, so I can use this sum for 20, I can then use 8 plus 7 plus 3 for 18. So these two I can use. But why is that a problem? Well, if I use 9 and 6 and 5, or 8 and 7 and 3, I haven't repeated myself, but I'm going to have to repeat myself if I want to also get a sum of 8 for the same reason. In 9 plus 6 plus 5, I'm using 5 here, and that's required for this combination of 8. But for 8 and 7 and 3, I'm using a 3, which means I have to use this 3. So there's no way to get a sum of 20 and 18 and 8 without repeating at least a 5 or a 3. So what does all this mean? Uh, this was my way of showing that there's no way to get a sum of a thousand without repeating at least um, some digits. So it's not possible to actually get 1,000. All right, hope this helped. And if you have a better approach, please share it. Um, I feel like my approach is so messy, and I'm sure there's something way easier to show. Thanks.